Hello. In this video I will demonstrate the best ways of organizing your SOLIDWORKS macros library. Here I have the macro which allows me to display the diameters of the selected holes. I need to select the holes, run the macro and callouts are displayed with the diameters of the corresponding holes. If I need to run this macro very often, it will be very handy to have it on a SOLIDWORKS toolbar. So in this case I do not need to go to Tools Macro Run or Tools Macro Edit to run my macro. Let's go ahead and add this macro to the toolbar. I need to go to Customize menu, select the macros and just drag and drop the new macro button. I can drop the button either on the toolbar or on the command tab box. In this case I will just put this command onto the Evaluate tab. I need to browse the macro. I also need to select the starting point and optionally select an icon. Now I will add the tooltip to my button and click OK to complete. So now I can just click the button on the toolbar to run that macro. So let me just select a few holes, click the button and you can see that my clouds are displayed. Out of the box it is not possible to create the custom toolbars in SOLIDWORKS. So it is only possible to add the macro buttons to existing toolbars. Fortunately it is possible to create a toolbars from API. Now I will demonstrate you the add-in called My Toolbar, which could be downloaded for free. Please follow the link in the description of this video. By default it created a toolbar, which you can put your commands on. So let me activate the toolbar. There are a few macro buttons already here. So this one would allow me to hide the sketches in the model. So in this case I could just hide one by one. But if I want to hide everything together I can just click that button. And all the sketches are hidden. This macro allows to delete the folder and all the content features. So by default if you delete the folder none of the children features get deleted. So if I run this macro now I can delete all of the content as well. And the last macro on this toolbar simply allow me to display the quantity of the selected components in the status bar. So I selected three components, click the button and the quantity is displayed in the status bar. So I selected more, click again. Now it shows that there are seven components selected. This approach will greatly enhance the user experience when using SOLIDWORKS. A lot of useful macros could be downloaded from the SOLIDWORKS forum or from the other resources. So let me show you one called codestack.net where you can download a lot of useful macros for free. Let's select this macro which adds a shortcut to the file in the Windows Explorer from the selected component in assembly. So I can just copy the code, start new macro in SOLIDWORKS, give it a random name and just paste the code in here. Click save. Let me now repeat the same steps to add this macro onto the toolbar. Uh, now I can select the component, click the button and it will bring me to the Windows Explorer. Macro buttons behave in exactly the same way as any other toolbar button. That means that it is possible to assign the shortcut to the button. So I can just browse the macro button I just added and click the shortcut to be Shift plus O. Now I can just simply click that combination and it will bring me to the Windows Explorer. Finally I want to show you how to customize the look of the custom toolbars of the My Toolbar add-in. Let's browse to the application directory of My Toolbar add-in. Here you can find the data.json file which manages the toolbars. This file can be edited in any text editor like Notepad. So let me just change the title of the toolbar. And I also can change the tooltip and icon if I want. So let me just select the icon path to that one. Just make sure that you add a double slash when you specify the path. And I can also create a new toolbar. Also make sure that you have a unique IDs of your toolbars. Now we simply need to restart SOLIDWORKS to see the changes. 
All of the buttons in the toolbars are preserved even if you rename the toolbar title or description. As you can see there are two custom toolbars now. I can change the settings of macro buttons by activating customize dialog. I can drag and drop the button from one toolbar to another. I can modify the settings of the command by right mouse click onto the button on the toolbar. To delete the command simply drag it away from the toolbar area until you see the red cross on the mouse pointer. Use properties or delete context menu commands to change the properties of the uh, macro button in the command tab box. Thank you for watching this video. Please follow the link in the description for more information about this tool.